Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. And thanks for watching the video. And I've been shopping. I've been to Iceland. Come and have a look what I got. So I seen this was new. Um, King Kebab House. Um, it's a ready cooked and sliced Donna Kebab meat. Um, pr uh, produced using beef, chicken, lamb and mutton. Then seasoned with our unique blend of spices. 350 grams. And there is a serving suggestion look. So this was three quid. So it was new and I haven't seen it before. So I thought I'd have to get it and try it and see what it's like. <laughs> so let's have a look at the package. Um, nutritional information. It's going to be horrendous. There we go. Have a look at that and do what you want with that. Uh, so there's the ingredients as well. Um, we got meat 58%, got beef 56, chicken 33, lamb 6. Now, that one there, lamb, that needs to be, you know, it needs to be all lamb, doesn't it? For me, you know, a doner kebab is lamb. But I know you can get chicken kebabs. But this is a bit of a, a bit of a mixed, mixed bag kebab, this one. It's a bit of a, you know, <laughs> bit of everything. Chicken, lamb, mutton as well, 5%. And it's got their look, which we all we all really do like, don't we? Mechanically separated meat, chicken. Chicken lips, chicken fat, chicken whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's all in there. Get it all in there by the kitchen sink. You've got an allergen there, soya, haven't you, and wheat. And you've got, obviously, flavour enhancers. I wonder if that's the old MSG. We'll have to find out. See what we've got. I mean, I do like it. I mean, you can't go wrong. You can't beat a proper, proper donna kebab from your local uh, Turkish, look at that, restaurant or takeaway. There it is, look. That's what you get, look. There's a little bit more stuck in here. Um, there it is, look. There it is. <laughs> so... Smells like Donny Kebab. It just smells like it, yeah, exactly the same. Oh, I can't wait for this. I know it's so bad, isn't it? But it, it's so good. <laughs> I'm going to pan fry it, and I know if you stick a load of butter in there as well, you're going to even, you know, make it even tastier. But I'm just going to pan fry it as it is, and I'm going to try it as it is, and then I'm going to stick it in a, a bit of pita bread and some garlic mayonnaise and some chilli sauce and maybe a chopped onion as well. Mm -hmm. Might even stick some... Salad in there as well. Ooh. It's the only way of getting any healthy vegetables in me, I'm afraid, in a doner kebab. Right, I'm going to pan fry this. So I've got it on a medium heat, and I'm just sticking it on there, look. Putting it on. Um, there's a big clump stuck together. We'll get the bits out that are already... Um, you just have to... It's frozen as well. I got it at Iceland. <laughs> um, it says best cooked from frozen, so... I'm afraid you're just going to have to sort of pull it apart. Pull the big mechanically separated uh, meat fest apart. <laughs> um, so let's have a look, see how much you're going to get. So I'm going to think I'll, um, I think I'll have that much. I might have a bit more. Yeah, that'll do. For now, might have another, depends how good it is. So if you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing. That really does help as well. I'm not going to go live tonight. And, and tonight was me that night for going live. I'm going to give it another couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, I did say I did say on my last one anyway that I was going to go live for a, on the next time. So let's get into this. So there it is, look, it's, it's already been cooked, you're just warming it up, aren't you? So there's a, lot, there's a lot of fat coming out of it, look, you can see, I mean, loads of fat coming, a lot of fattest flavour in it, let's be honest. You hope anyway. Oh, yeah. So it's done, there we go, look at that. Let me see if I can get a bit of better light for you, have a look at that. And it's six or seven minutes in the uh, frying pan, that's all, on a medium heat. Look at it. So I'll chop some onion up as well, and I'm going to have some of that uh, Hellman's kebab, uh, garlic kebab sauce on it, creamy style, and, and the chilli sauce. This is the, this is the daddy, this is the bee's knees, this stuff. 
from Portugal. Lovely gift sent to me by John sent us this. I'm going to have that. Oh, my pita. So I've had my pita as well. I, I did that. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, I did that in the toaster. Oh, 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 oh that is hot. Awesome. So let's get a, let's, let's try this meat. I'm trying to find out what it's like. I know what I've done here. I've not, I've not done myself enough. I'll be honest. I've not done myself. I should have done myself more. There it is, look. But it's, it's going to be far better done in there. Put in a pit of bread with some sauce and all that. Let's say that. Mm. Bit dry that bit. It's it's all right. It's. I was expecting more flavour, to be honest. It's it's a bit dry as well. Now I reckon you could probably stick a knob of butter in there and make it. I mean, loads and loads of fat come out. Come and look at this. Look at all the fat in there. I mean, all right, you could pour that over you. Once you've made your kebab up, you could stick your kebab in there, couldn't you? And base it in all that fat. If you wanted to, you know. You could, you know, you could fill your pit of bread up, couldn't you? And then stick that in there, back in the frying pan and, 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 and base it with all that fat. You know, but I'm not going to. But you could. Yeah, I was expecting... It's... I mean... It's, it's quite crunchy. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's not rubbery. There's a very slight sort of, very slight sort of lamb, lamby flavour in it. But the spices are there, but they're not great. They're not massive, the spices. But what I'm going to do now is transform it into something a lot better. So, I'm going to, what I'm going to, I'm going to get this kebab. I'm going to get this in here first. I mean, these are, you know, these are compulsory, aren't they, with, with beer. <laughs> And I, and I know you only need a bit of that in because that is rocket fuel, that stuff. And I know, and I, and I know that, you know, if you go to a proper Turkish restaurant, they are amazing. And I, and I have, if you if you have a look at my takeaway playlist, I've done a few, I've done, I think, two Turkish restaurants and I got their mixed kebabs and they were, they were, they were the bee's knees. It'll be in my takeaway playlist. That's in Barrow. They were really good. Uh, Cappadocia, I think, was one of them. And can't remember the name of the other one, but... Oh, done as well on a, a charcoal, you know, barbecue. <laughs> you know, this is not... This is, you know... They, they'll be looking at this and going, what are you doing? Why are you doing it? You know, why are you doing that? Well... It's what's in our supermarkets, isn't it? So it's dry, isn't it? It's very dry. I'm going to have to stick some more of that sauce over the top. Some more of that little leather on there. Like totally transformed the flavour of this now, isn't it? It's, it's not going to taste at all like this now, is it? Let's be honest. Look at that. So there it is, look. Have a look at that. So I'm going to get into this now. It's not, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be easy. With any luck it'll stay in its pizza. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh that's oh that chili sauce I've, I've gone overboard with it. It's red hot. <clears throat> Forgot I put some in the, at the bottom as well. Oh, but that is that's a lot better. It really is a lot better. That's far better now. Done in a done, you know, done properly. It's got to be lamb though, hasn't it? It's got to be lamb. Mmm. It's a lot better like that. It's a little dry, probably next time. It's, it's just trial and error. 
Probably won't cook it as long. I'll put it on a lower flame, not cook it as long, and see if that does anything to it. But that's good. That's good like that. <clears throat> Just need um, accompanied now by a few beers, maybe some football on the telly, or watch football and then a few beers and then the kebab. I think in that order. It's absolutely spot on. Uh, would I buy it again? <sighs> I would try some different stuff out there. I wouldn't buy it again. I'd go and try others. I'm not. I have done one from B and M Bargains before. They look like dog chews, but I enjoyed it. So I, I'm quite a novice when it comes to trying these sort of prepared, sort of plastic, uh, you know, packaged sort of doner kebabs. I am a novice, but I would try different ones. Let me know your favourites, please. Uh, well, it's probably about a six out of ten. If it was packing more, if there was more lamb in it and it was packing a lot more flavour, it'd be higher. Probably six and a half, six and a half. And, and that's probably a nine now. <laughs> now I've, I've, I've put it in that. So thanks very much for watching and please take care. Please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one.